The US and China are on a path of confrontation. The US B-52 bombers flew over the islands of the South China Seas, sending a clear message that the US is not backing down. This happened just two days after Mattis, the US Secretary of Defense, who spoke at the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore. Despite China's claims to the contrary, the placement of these weapon systems is tied directly to military use for the purposes of intimidation and coercion. Now, Shangri-La Dialogue is an annual conference of the member countries of the Indo-Pacific region. Mattis was loud and clear in sending his message to China. The point the US has been making is China is putting its bases on the islands in South China seas. They say that China will hold other countries hostage on how they use the international waters. China has been accused of threatening smaller countries like Vietnam. For example, in July 2017 and in March 2018, it strong-armed Vietnam reportedly with a threat of force into suspending two natural gas drilling projects in the country's own continental shelf. Now, James Mattis commenting on India said that India and U.S. have relations that go beyond the Indo-Pacific region. The U.S. has been wanting India to be an active member of the U.S.-Japan-Korea partnership in monitoring the Indo-Pacific region. But this will come at a cost for India. The more active India gets on the region, the more China may influence Pakistan and Kashmir and on India's eastern border, where India has been having a standoff with China on the plateau of Dokla. In South Asia, we are strengthening our partnerships, particularly with India. Prime Minister Modi's remarks last evening underscored India's role as a leader and responsible steward in the Indo-Pacific region. The U.S. values the role India can play in regional and global security, and we view the U.S.-India relationship as a natural partnership between the world's two largest democracies based on a convergence of strategic interests, shared values, and respect for a rules-based international order. So it's a precarious situation for India. India will have to decide which path it takes. Its policy of non-alignment is out of the window now. So if India has to stand with the United States, the partnership has to be strong. It cannot be a weak one like the U.S. has had in the past, for example, with Pakistan, when it came down to defending Afghanistan from Russia, or with China, when it came down to actually offending Japan just after the Second World War. The U.S.-India strategy will have to be a long-term one, but U.S. is not known to be a partner that many countries have been happy. In fact, Pakistan had been telling India for many years now that the U.S. is going to use and throw them just the way it used and threw Pakistan away. So, India will have to make a decision on how it strategizes.